Okay, so this is contact with the trombones and trumpets libraries loaded from Spitfire Audio. Uh, that was the tenor and bass trombones combined uh, using the multi-tongue expression. Um, so I'm just going to go through each of these little patches very quickly and show you some of the some of the features and highlights. They're all loaded here, you can see. Um, so I'm just going to solo each one. So that was the multi-tongue. I'm just going to go through that very briefly. It's the same for all of the uh, brass instruments. They have a multi-tongue, double, triple and quadruple tongued with uh, velocity sensitivity showing a long or a short um, runoff at the end. So you can uh, use the modulation. Either it shows dynamics changing on the screen, but in fact it's just the tongue articulation that changes. So uh, hit it nice and gently with low dynamics, low modulation wheel, and you get a double tongue. A bit higher up, triple, and then right at the top, you get quadruple tongue, which is really nice. If you then pull the dynamics right down and hit it a lot harder, it sustains at the end, and it does that for the others too. So. So you can do a really nice, nice little runs like that, which is great. So uh, that's the, the multi-tongues. Let's go uh, through some of the others. This is the legato slurred. And again, you can control dynamics using the mod lever. And you can program, as I've done here, you can see the various other controllers, speed, expression, and vibrato. I'm going to turn the speed and the vibrato off for the moment to just use dynamic control of the legato patch. You can see it's a really nice slow slur between notes, which is what uh, trombones would do. But if I turn the speed up to full, you get a much faster legato, which is really nice. And the dynamic control is Really nice. You can kind of hear the spit, which is brilliant. Um, you've got two types of sustains. You've got the long, standard longs, and you've got a much more harsh long. So the standard longs, again, in the bass trombones. It allows you the full dynamic range, and then the, uh, the more harsh. a lot richer. You've got four different types, sorry, three different types of um, shorts. You've got marcato, tenuto and staccato. Uh, the marcato, uh, as the name describes, gives you a, a fairly robust uh, long note that kind of fades out nicely. Uh, tenuto is a little bit shorter and obviously staccato is a much harsher staccato. Um, these are velocity sensitive, they don't respond to the dynamics. Um, they just hit them harder, but you can program to respond to dynamics if you're used to using the mod wheel for all your volume controls, which I am. So uh, the Marcato gives you a really nice... ...which is a very similar length to the end of the multi-tongue, which is very convenient. Uh, you then got the Tenuto, which is a little bit shorter. Great. And then I love the staccato. It just reminds me of colliery bands in, uh, in the Yorkshire Dales. Which is great. I love that. Um, and then you've got the multi tongue we've seen and an assortment of rips, falls and effects. So... So the speed, controls them, which is fantastic. So you can dial up the speed and choose fast or slow for each of those. So it can hopefully suit the kind of work that you need to do. And then the falls, two types of falls, fast or slow. Um, and then the effects are just silly. 
if you like that kind of thing. Uh, so those are the bass trombones, um, really nice. So let's move on to the tenor trombones, almost exactly the same uh, kind of use of the, uh, of the controls in here. Let's turn the speed up and the vibrato uh, down for the moment and just play some legato phrasing. Obviously we're a bit higher up on the keyboard for the tenor trombones. So that's without vibrato. If I turn the vibrato on, you get a slight bit of vibrato, but this is a bit more noticeable in the longs. So that's without vibrato. Put vibrato on. You get a little bit less consistent harshness, but that's because they're trying to vary the uh, the tone of vibrato. So that's quite an interesting little feature. And again, you've got the same um, harsh sustains as well as the marcato. the tenuto, and our little colliery band again, which is great. Um, Multi-tongues you've heard, and again the rips. And they're all brilliant. So if you combine those two together, so uh, unsolo, which is, I'm just gonna use these two, and choose like the staccato for both tenor and bass trombones, and go back to our uh, colliery band, or whatever we want to do, uh, especially the kind of music that I end up doing for pantomime and things like that. You've got this wonderful... Lovely, lovely brassy sound. Um, of course, I'm using various different mics here. Um, if we go to the close mics for a second and just hear what they sound like, this is just the close mics um, playing. much more uh, up front. Uh, put the tree mics on, turn the close mics off. This is just the trees. A lot more of the atmosphere there. Um, ambient mics. Big symphonic reverberation there. And then finally the outriggers. These are essentially your surround mics. Very little direct sound at all. So if you choose something like the close and the outriggers at the same time, you get that lovely feeling that you're on the stage and you've got the reverberation coming from around you. So I'm gonna stop at that point with the tenor trombones and the bass trombones, and the next little video will be all about the trumpets.